I think everybody in the United States is currently tired of hearing about the government shutdown or the debate over the debt ceiling. So I thought I'd bring some levity to this week's YouTube video. So I was searching through some headlines, something caught my eye. It was this. The Vatican has announced that they are going to be creating a cricket team. Now, I thought this was a great story to cover, especially since many people are looking for some levity amidst all the things going on in our world today. Many people may hear this story and say, you know, there's a lot of important things going on, and the Catholic Church has a lot of serious issues to be addressing. Why on earth would they establish a cricket team of all things? I think that's a good question, and certainly we do have an important mission, and the Church is certainly in need of reforms. Nobody questions that either, and there's a lot to be done. But at the same time, the Catholic Church affirms that our faith touches every aspect of our lives, and part of that means that it touches recreation. And so I think it's great to see the Vatican establishing a cricket team. They already have a football or soccer team, as it's known in the United States. But to see this cricket team being established is one more way of seeing that the church does, in fact, say that there are serious things in our life. There are serious things within the church that need to be addressed. But they're not the only things. They aren't the end-all, so to speak. Rather, we do need to be about recreation as well. And we need to make sure we're taking time for recreation. We note that in Scripture, on the seventh day after creating the world, God rested. And so rest and recreation has always been an essential part of our faith. In the year 2000, Blessed John Paul II established an office in the Vatican for sports and recreation. Again, to affirm this. Not to say that, oh, we have nothing else to do, so we might as well just uh, fuel the sports team. That's not it at all. But rather to say that our Catholic faith encompasses every aspect of human activity, including recreation. And so the Vatican should get involved with recreational activities to help people understand that we're not just about these dogmatic proclamations that we're making or doctrinal statements or rules and regulations or worship even. And those things are important, so I don't at all mean to dismiss those. They are essential to our faith. But at the same time, our faith can encompass areas of leisure as well. And so we can have fun. You know, so often it seems that the Catholic Church is portrayed as a group of grumpy old men who never have fun. So I think that having a league, a cricket team or a football team or something like that is important to show that we're not all curmudgeon old men or something like that that are just about rules and regulation, but we do know how to have fun. We do have a good time. And I think it also stresses the importance of doing that in our daily lives. You know, yesterday I was meeting with a seminarian and he told me that he has a tough time with leisure in his life. He says, I, I work so much and I'm a workaholic and I kind of feel guilty when I'm involved, when I'm involved in leisure activities. And he realizes, fortunately, that that's an unhealthy attitude and he's working to change that. And I think that it's an attitude that many people tend to have where we feel like if I'm not doing something productive uh, by society standards, then I'm somehow doing something less than what I should be doing or wasting my time. But certainly leisure has an important role within not only the church, but within our lives, whether you're, you're Catholic or not, whether you're a God-fearing person or not, even an atheist would seem to say that they need to have leisure activity. And so often the Catholic Church gets portrayed as being against any kind of fun recreational activity. You know, usually uh, we point to a sexual activity in the church's stance on sexual issues, and we say, oh, the church is against any kind of fun or recreation. Or I've heard people jokingly say that, you know, usually if it's something that's fun, it's either too expensive or it's sinful. And so the church is always seen as standing against whatever is fun, so to speak. But the church isn't that way at all. The church does say there are legitimate recreational activities, and we should engage in those and take joy in those. And we can bring our faith even into those activities. And so it is important for us to see that our faith is something that we can take joy in, and we can take joy in the recreational activities that God has given us, if they are indeed appropriate, such as sports. Um, another interesting thing that I found within this story is there's been a lot of chatter, too, about the fact that the Vatican has said, while it's establishing this cricket team, it also is not opposed to establishing one for women as well. So that way that women studying to be sisters in Rome would also have a way of partaking in some of these leisure activities as well. The general take from this, though, should be that we need to remember that while work is important, it's also important every now and then to take a break and just enjoy 
the creation that God has given to us and to enjoy recreational activities. And so I'm doing that with a rather light YouTube video this week, but I hope that people will remember that our recreational activities are in fact given to us by God and therefore it's not wrong to take joy in these things or it's not wrong to partake in them, but in fact something that we should do.